In this instance, we're talking about the patient who has inconclusive antibody results. Both antibodies, the anti-CDTB and the antivinculin, are below threshold for considered to be elevated and to meet the criteria for irritable bowel syndrome. This essentially means that we can't conclusively say the patient has irritable bowel syndrome with diarrhea or mixed, and particularly we can't say it's due to food poisoning. They may still have IBS, but it could be another explanation that isn't food poisoning. Another possibility is that it's another disease. We have tested these antibodies in our clinic and have published a number of disease states that present to a GI clinic similar to IBS, and they are rarely positive, which means that you have to consider other diagnoses. This is the patient in your practice where you may want to consider other testing, perhaps colonoscopy, imaging studies, uh, parasite testing, or other testing to suggest the explanation for the patient's symptoms.